welcome back for another video. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, as you can see, I have someone different sitting with me today. This is my husband. Hi. And today we're going to do an unboxing of our Universal Yum box. This is not a paid promotion from Universal Yums. This is something that we've done for a while now. We did it for... I don't know, I think last year maybe, and then we stopped doing it, and now we just started getting them again. This is the third box that we've gotten um, recently. So if you're not familiar with what Universal Yums is, it's basically a food uh, blind box. So every month you get a box of food from a country that you don't know where it's coming from until you get it. In the past, I think the last one we had food from like Finland and Denmark and countries like that all together. And our box before that was from Fran France, I think. Was it France? I think so. I think it was from France. In the past, I, we've gotten boxes from Russia, uh, Japan. Those are the two I can remember. I know we got more than two boxes before, but I don't remember where they were from. The... Um, I will put a link in the description below uh, for Universal Yums. There is also three different tiers. We do the middle tier, and by three different tiers, it's just how much product you get in your box. So we do the middle one. It comes every month, and we're going to try this. I have not opened this yet. I don't know where this is from. All I did was cut the seal open. So let's open this up and see what we're going to try. Um, I think we have very different tastes and things that we like because you pretty much like everything in the box and I do not. I'm a picky eater. So, oh, it's from the Philippines. So the box comes with a card like this and then you can score your favorite things on the back and write about them. Um, we don't do that. It also comes with a book like this that tells about each of the things you're going to try. I think that everything that's in here is everything you would get in like the deluxe box. And like I said, we don't get that when we get the middle ones. So there are food items in here um, that we didn't get. There's a little bit on the history of Philippines. Sorry, there's a really big glare. Uh, from our light here. Uh, there's also fun trivia about the Philippines. And then I also think there is um, just kind of some of these other little activities to tell you about the country. So I generally like to just start at the beginning of the book and pull it out as it comes. Um, generally you get a combination of like snacks, like chip-like snacks, and then some candies. We've gotten caramels and toffee, taffies and all of those kinds of things. So this is the first thing on the list. It's called a fudgy bar. And according to this book, um, I'm not going to like it. Uh, I think it's coconut flavored and I really don't like coconut, but we'll see. Um, it is a cake filled with a cream filling and it is made out of coconut. So let's try this and see. Sometimes when you have bigger things like this, you only get one. If it's little candies, um, generally you get a couple of them. Um, Jeff likes to take the stuff to work that we don't like and see if any of the guys in his shop like it. Um, oh, this comes, this it's reminds green. me, it is green. It kind of reminds mm -hmm. me of, I don't know. It doesn't smell like coconut. Uh, I can smell a little bit of coconut, yeah. but it's just me. I, I like it has coconut, a little but... wrapper on it, like a muffin wrapper. <laughs> um... I should have gotten a, I have no idea where the cream filling is. I don't really Thanks. see any cream filling. I should have gotten a glass of water before we started this because I, I probably won't like here. it. Oh, okay. I forgot mine. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. 
it's very dry. Oh, and very coconut tasting. I like it, but I like coconut. Oh, so. I'm pretty sure I just got a flake of coconut in there. Um, here's the wrapper. If you don't want to eat that, um, also just a sidebar. Our cats keep coming in and out of here, and what I have the camera sitting on, they think it's really great to like rub their whole bodies against it. So if this gets really shaky. It's because our cats can be little turds sometimes. Um, this little bag that I just ripped open generally is what has all of the little candies in. Here's some garbage. The next thing is called um, Lips Color Burst, and it's mango flavored. Um, I am super sensitive to mango, like mango flavoring causes me to get headaches. Uh -huh. So I'm not going to try this, but my husband will try it if he sure. wants to stop eating his coconut cake over here. <laughs> Apparently he really liked that coconut cake. Um, but here you go. You can try this while I read okay. about this. Um, huh. It's a mango hard candy. It says, pop this Philippine mango candy in your mouth and tell us they're wrong. Do it for science. Oh, declared the mango Philippines special mangoes. Is it special mango we tasting? Um, I can d definitely taste very fruity. Is it like... Acidic y, fruity. No, uh, like citrus. Citrusy. A strong citrus taste. So we got three of those in here, so I'm sure he'll I, love I, eating I don't that. mind it. It's, it's, so far, it's not overpowering. The next thing is called Boy Ba Yang Ba Wang Corn Nick. <laughs> See, this is the problem. I can't read what it is. Read that. Boy Ba Wang Corn Nick Adabo flavor. Boy, basically, boy, boing, cornic adobo flavor. Basically, they look like corn nuts. If you don't know what corn nuts are, well, I don't They're know. Very hard and crunchy. Yeah, they are. Uh, so these are marinated in vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic. <laughs> that is a really um, strange Spicy. combination. So we'll see how these are. So far, I can't get this open. We haven't liked anything that we've gotten out of this box. Oh, tear here. Huh. I just am afraid when I do this, corn nuts are going to go flying everywhere. So, uh, they even put an English label on the back of here so that you can actually see what's inside of it. Oh no, I just lost some somewhere. Well, we'll have to find those later. Ready? Yeah. Got it? These are not as crunchy as the corn nuts we have here. Yeah, ours are very, very tough to chew. They're also not vinegary, vinegary or garlicky at all. Maybe a little garlicky. They're not bad. No, I, I like them. Yeah, I definitely taste garlic, I would say. And soy. Like soy sauce. Yeah, soy sauce. They're not bad. I'd eat them. Yeah. I like that they're more like air fluffed inside mm -hmm. than they are completely solid like our corn nuts are. Yeah, I like the taste of corn nuts, but I don't like how hard they are to, yeah. to chew. These ones aren't hard at all. Oh, these are good. All right. Next up. Oh, I think we've had... So this is a Goldilocks Penny Pig Plavorian. We've had Goldilocks brand things um, before. Yeah, that It looks cold. familiar. It's um, a shortbread cookie. We had shortbread cookies from... France, I think. Well, you have a better memory than me, so. 
if you remember. We had shortbread cookies from Ross. This only came... Oh, hey, look. Here's another one of those things. There were four of them. Okay. Um, this... There's only one of these little shortbread cookies. So, I shall... Oh, let's see what's in here. Um... just a shortbread cookie oh it's made from green rice that has been pounded flat and toasted for added crunch that's the dust that's on this I like shortbread cookies so we'll see oh that's really good mm -hmm. it just kind interesting of, texture we had something like this mm -hmm. before because this just kind of, it's the rice that's probably the weird texture to it. But it kind of it's just... It's not bad, just different texture. It just kind of melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. hmm. It tastes good. It's sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. Right. Hmm. It's pretty good. I like it. All right. Next are these, <clears throat> I got some stuck in my throat. Uh, next are these Farmer John Premium Barbecue, Barbecue Sausage, Wavy Potato Chips. Mm. They're supposed to be spicy, I think. They're spicy barbecue sausage potato chips. Um, in this book, it gives you a description about like how each food was created, I guess, or why it has its name and whatever, man, I just, I won't like those because they're barbecue. I like barbecue. I don't think you do. We had some chips the last time they were called the all American. Yeah, barbecue those, chips or something, those, and they yeah. weren't really barbecue flavored at all. Not as strong barbecue as our barbecue chips are. Mm. They're really not spicy. They're really not strongly barbecue flavored either. Uh, maybe they're a little spicy. And that. I can taste it now. It's can I have some of your water, di please? Different than our barbecue chips, for sure. They have a little bit of a spice to them. Mm -hmm. I don't handle spicy food well at all. How does this open? Yeah, it's got a little bit more of a kick to it than I would like, but it's not bad, though. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, next up is this. Choco Mucho Cookies and Cream Bar. One thing I have found that most chocolate is made out of some sort of dark chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. You do like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So generally, I don't like the chocolate. See, I'm just really picky, and so that's why I don't like half of this stuff. But, so this is what we're going to try next. This is a chocolate cookie bar with caramel, crisp rice, and white chocolate. And there's only one of these in there. What do we, what kind of chocolate do we have that has crisp rice in it? Like a Nestle Crunch bar has yeah. crisp rice in it. Oh, there's a crackle bar, a crackle, right? That's yeah. That's a red label. Is that? Oh, look, dark chocolate. I'll try it, but. Maybe milk chocolate is more of a American. Ooh. Stringy. Uh, probably because milk chocolate's not as healthier for you as you. Dark chocolate is the closest to, like, pure chocolate. And then milk chocolate has, like, milk and sugar added. And then white chocolate is, like, all sugar. Mm -hmm. So white chocolate is the worst. Ready? Ready? 
I got caramel stuck to mm. my teeth. That's really crispy. I have it a... doesn't. Okay, maybe it tastes more caramel than chocolate. Yeah, I was gonna say it didn't have a very big piece, but it doesn't taste very chocolatey. No. So you probably wouldn't mind it so I much. I tasted huh? like all crispy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's good. It's different good. It reminds me of like a gigantic crunch bar. Like if you put Rice mm -hmm. crispy cereal in a crunch bar with caramel. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Not bad at all. This is a cup kiak cake. I think that's supposed to be a cup cake. Coco oob. This is an oob cupcake with coconut flakes. Why do people have to put coconut in everything? Like, according mm -hmm. to the picture, there's actual coconut flakes in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This has English writing on it. In a little so it resembles this other one that we had. Yeah. I'm just going to take a little piece off the top. I don't see any coconut flakes in there, but maybe they're just dyed purple and you can't see them. I would think that, I mean, all of these sweet things we've had, minus that piece of chocolate, are all dyed a different color. Ready? Yeah. That's a lot of coconut. It's very dry. Well, it's not as dry as that green cake thing that we had, but it's not. It seems like there's less flavor in this one. Yeah. All I taste is coconut, though. Like, there's no secondary complementary flavor it's, to go with it. Yeah, it's like very muffin-like without the muffin top on it. Like if you're just eating a... Muffin tops are the best, guys. It doesn't it feel like you're just eating the inside of yeah, a muffin? Yeah, the inside with, of a... Yeah. With, with no nothing? Yeah. Like there's no goodies inside and no... It has, it has taste, but... It tastes like coconut. Yeah. I don't know. I guess when we have muffins here, they have secondary flavors to them. You don't usually just get muffin-flavored muffins. <laughs> yeah, it's just like coconut muffin without much of anything else to it but not that it's bad it's just not much there Ooh, this is um a fudgy bar what was that other one called i can look in the book the first Choco one Mon no the first one we had was some kind of well that was also a fudgy bar this is a different fudgy oh, this bar one is, uh... this one is salted caramel filled with chocolate so this is the coconut yeah. fudgy bar. This is a chocolate fudgy bar. I'll probably like this one better. Oh, man. Everything is really hard to open. This reminds... Everything comes with a wrapper. I know. <laughs> A little, uh, um, like a muffin wrapper. Yeah. Looking at this, this reminds me of like some kind of hostess dessert. That was a really big piece. I didn't want that big of a piece. I don't really see any like filling in there. No. Like it's supposed to have. I think I maybe it's see some very smell. chocolatey smelling. I don't know, it's just really dry. Like, it, it's chocolate, but it's, it needs a lot more cream. I think there's it's some like, in there, but. Oh, maybe a tiny bit. It's like eating, have you ever had a Suzy Q? Mm -hmm. It's like eating the Suzy Q without the with, cream yeah. filling. Mm -hmm. It does taste similar to a Suzy Q. 
I haven't had a Suzy Q probably since I was a teenager. I think they still make them. But... I don't know. Is that a Hostess thing? Yeah. Yeah, those are made by Hostess. Oh. All right. This makes... Oh, it's a cookie. All right. So these are Egg Bite Egg Cookies. I don't know if they're egg-shaped or... Oh, they're egg white cookies. Apparently, these are a must-have for your Christmas celebration. So, let's pretend it's Christmas and have mm -hmm. some egg white cookies. They feel like they're very tiny. Oh, it looks like a little vanilla mini oh, yeah. vanilla wafer. What does that say on the bottom? Made with real fresh eggs. <laughs> hmm. I like how you smell, you just put everything in your <laughs> mouth and I smell it all before I put it in my mouth. It's different. <laughs> it tastes like, it tastes like a vanilla wafer without the vanilla flavor. I mean, it's the same consistency and texture as mm. a vanilla wafer. It's kind of a subtle taste to it. Yeah, it just doesn't have that overwhelming... Just like Vanilla slightly sweet taste. Yeah. Ooh. Good thing that our little man is in bed because he would be all over these <laughs> baked cheesy puffs. These are sweet butter and cheese flavored cheesy puffs. Um, cheesy puffs are his new favorite thing at Grandma's house. Those last ones that we had, in the last box, are my favorite. Oh, Just yeah, and they're not, there. so when you think of Cheesy Puffs, you think of, like, Cheetos Cheesy Puffs, like bright orange covered in those, tons uh, of cheese. Those white yellow colors? Yeah, they were, and they like weren't covered in tons of cheese like these those, are. I cannot get these, these open. Really good. <laughs> I can't get them open. Oh, I got a scissors. All right, big cheesy puffs. Well, these ones are orange. Very, very orange. Okay, I can smell them from over here. <laughs> they have a strong smell to them. Yes, they do. Apparently, sweet butter and cheese isn't a combo you see every day. <laughs> unless you live in the Philippines. All right, ready? Okay. Cheers. That is weird. <laughs> Not, I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's unusual. <laughs> it's like somewhat bitter. Like That's a bitter, like really buttery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I taste more butter than cheese. Don't you? Yes. Oh, that's not very good. I'll stick with our cheesy puffs over that. Yeah, it's a strong butter taste and not much cheese taste to it. Wow. All right, it looks like we have three things left in here. Uh, next up are these soft cookies with mango bites. Bits. What is with the mango? Mango and coconut, like the things I hate. I'm going to try these. I'm going to try. in the Philippines. What? Mangoes? Maybe, and mangoes coconut? In, probably, because yeah. it's probably tropical mm -hmm. country. I guess that makes sense. I'm going to try one of these. Just to, Oh! They're all individually wrapped in here. You could take these to work and share them <laughs> with the guys. See who likes them. All right, I'll show you what this cookie looks like. Oh, it looks like a baby like peanut butter cookie. Oh, it smells like mango though. Oh, it's very soft. It's a very, very soft cookie. Yeah. Like it's crumbling in my hand from the little bit I took off. Mm, do you know what this texture reminds me of? Like those grandma's cookies? Oh yeah. 
just like that soft. I love soft mm -hmm. cookies. It's unusual for a cookie to be fruity and tasting like this, though. It is like pure mango. Yeah. Like, I had that teeny tiny bite, and all I taste is mm -hmm. mango in my mouth now. Oh, it would take getting used to for <laughs> for me to eat these. Yeah. Probably not my favorite, but... I like the so, texture, though, like It's a said. good one for you to take to work. Okay. All right, next is... I don't, don't hate it, but I don't really like it either. Yeah. Next is... Uh, you should save them. Maybe the kids will like them. Or save one. Mm -hmm. See if the kids like them. But you could take some to work, too. Yeah. There's a lot of cookies in this box. Okay. This whole box is full of cookies. All right, next is another Choco Muncho bar. Choco Mucho. Is it Choco Mucho? There's no N in it, and I keep saying yes. it with an N. Choco Mucho. Choco Mucho. This is white chocolate caramel with a chocolate cookie center and cereal crispies. There are 150 calories in this one bar. Look, it says expiry date. <laughs> Not an expiration date. It's an expiry date. So again, looks crunchy. This has like a chocolate cookie on the inside and chocolate, chocolate crispy cereal. Ready? Mm -hmm. There's like mm. no taste to it at all. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> There's no flavor. I think I taste a little bit of caramel or something. Like it does, the mm -hmm. white chocolate doesn't even taste sweet. And white mm -hmm. chocolate is usually very sweet. Yeah, it, there is caramel in it. I think I taste a little bit of that. But yeah, there's very... Very little taste to it. No, it's very blah. So either the food in the Philippines is very dry and blah, or like Fruity. overboard mm. on mango and coconut flavor. <laughs> right. I mean, based on this mm. box. <laughs> right. And then there's those weird buttery <laughs> Cheese cheesy puffs. puffs. <laughs> All right. The last thing we have is another one of those little hard candies, the lips hard candies. These ones are strawberry flavored. So, might like those better than the mango ones. <laughs> did you not like the mango one? Uh, it's just a very citrus fruity four flavor. Four of these too. I think I like strawberry better than mango, mango flavored. flavoring. I would guess so anyway. There we go. doesn't really smell like anything. No, I was kind of wondering if it would smell like a cough drop. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. It's not very... It's very artificial strawberry tasting. It's not overpowering. Mm. It sort of reminds me of those strawberry candies that are in a wrapper that looks like a strawberry. I don't think I've ever had those. Oh. Have you seen them though, right? Yeah. But I don't think yeah. I've ever eaten them. It could taste a little bit like that. Hmm. It's not bad. That's pretty good. What was your favorite thing from the box? Um, probably those, uh, be between that, these, these chips are pretty good. And the corn nuts? The, the, yeah, the barbecue sausage wavy chips. And the yeah, and, and the, the corn nuts. These are my favorite. The, the corn nuts. And the first um, fudgy coconut bar, the green one was okay, but I like coconut. We so. have very different food <laughs> preference tastes. These were my favorite, the corn nuts. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, those are good too. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions on other boxes like this, feel free to comment below because we like trying this kind of stuff. It's fun. I like to see what other people eat around the world. One thing I have found is that a lot of this food you can buy on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Or there have, because there have been other things. The last box we had those cookies that were so crumbly, but the second you put them in your mouth, oh. they just melted. They were those heavenly. Flat, those flat ones. Yeah, and then they had like a cream inside. Mm -hmm. I could have ordered them on Amazon to get more. I didn't because that would be really bad. They were delicious, though. My mom even liked them, and she's pickier than I am. But, like I said, if you have other suggestions of boxes like this, comment below. Let me know. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye. Bye.